everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Good morning. Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Guess what time it is? Pick 10. Pick 10. All right. I've got a bunch of pick 10 sticks here. And I'm just going to kind of, I'm actually looking at the video, I'm not looking at my hands. Mess them up, and then we're going to do one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we had one extra. Okay, so here's our sticks. Let's see what we've got. One, use fluid acrylic paints. Two, random words. Three, stencil. Four, neocolor twos. Five, empty packaging. Six, handmade stamps. Seven, finger paint. Eight, plaster tape. Nine, splatter and 10 geometric shapes. How fun is this gonna be? All right, so the first thing is, I gotta find my page. Okay, this was last month's, right? Yep. Okay, this is this month's. So what I need to do is just, oh, oh, my drink out of the way. All right. So here we go. Here's our page for the month. Apparently I cleaned off some stencil on it, which is fine. No big deal. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to get out the supplies that I'm going to need. And we are going to have fun creating a page out of these 10 prompts. All right. So let me get my supplies. I'll be right back with you. All right. So here we go. I've got all my little supplies hanging out here and we're just going to start playing. So the first thing is use fluid acrylic paints. So I have, um, I have all my, these are all I have. This is it for fluid acrylic paints. They're all golden. Um, and what I'm going to do, because I've already got some blue and purple on here. So we are just going to add a little bit more here and there. Um, I want my, hang on, one thing I want to get my little blue guy. I gotta empty my water. Or not empty it, but open it. There's my paint brushes. Alright, so we ready? <laughs> Alright. So let's have fun with this. I think that's gotta be wiped off so I can get more paint out of it. Sorry about the squeaky chair. You guys know it's just part of who I am, I guess. All right, let's start. We're just gonna play. Hmm. I wanted it to go more. Out, 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 out like a splat. Maybe we'll just have to do it like this. There we go. So we're just going to add some fluid acrylic paint. Why not? Let's play. There we go. That's what I want. This is going to hurt my hands doing this. But you know what? It's all good. I'm able to play and that's all that matters. Right? Now there's something else actually I want to try. Let me finish doing this. And then... Oh, it's so fun. i got to tell you about this little pink thing. 
um, we were doing uh, round robin boxes and for some reason this one ended up this ended up in a box I think it might have just fell in the box but whatever and it was so funny because it went through all five people and Gina ended up with it at the end and I was like Gina can you send that back to me <laughs> so she sent it back that was nice of her don't you think <laughs> all right what I want to try is I bought the other day in Michael's they had these on sale um, four for ten dollars and can you see the see it and they have four different sizes so I got you know one of each size here's the big one there should be one more right here so I want to play with these let's see what they can do I want the big one first I don't really want to take this off but I'm gonna to have to So anyways, I got my little blow thingy there back, my little pink thing. And let's see what this does. All right, let's get a different color. Let's take some of this blue or teal. Wow, you can tell I haven't used them in a while. Look at the look at how much is separated. Ah, that's not cool. Let's see. Teal. I don't have any lighter pink. I have a dark or purple. I have a darker purple. All right, let's see what this looks like. Now, what I want to do is take this and just, yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. What do you think? That's awesome. That is so cool. I like. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to rinse that off. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be using these more. Okay, so there we go. We used our fluid acrylic, right? Let me dry it up. Let's see, next. Random words in three areas. Now, what I did for random words is I just, this was in my travel case, and I know there's a bunch of words in here, I hope. Yeah, there's words in here. So, random words in three areas. Now, this has got to dry a little bit. Let me move those to the side. I hope I didn't just mess up the order of these. All right, let's see what we have in here. This is a random word. It says, how do you feel now? Scissors. How do you feel now? I feel pretty good. How about you? So this is random words and three paces. I don't know if you want to call this random, but it was a random pull of a word. That, does that count? I think so. Because like we always say, there are no rules in mixed media. It's all play. Alright, so here's one. Can it just be... All about me. Uh, these are just, um, here, here's one, reading. Alright, so here's two. And create one of a kind. How's that sound? So we got three of them. We got three randoms. So I can put this stuff back in the bag. I know random is more like the, it, the, you know, just single words here and there, but that's alright. We did good. So we're going to put these on. Our next prompt is a stencil. And then right after that is using Neocolor 2. So I'm actually going to take Neocolor 2s 
and I'm going to um, use them with the stencils. So let me first glue these words down. So we're just going to random places, we're going to put these words down. Create one of a kind. Reading, just random. And how do you feel? Oops, get back here, you. All right. Okay. Stencil and Neo Colors. So here's the stencils. I just grabbed Tim Holtz stencils. And I've got some of these mini ones. These are new. Well, they're new to me. I don't know if this is the new line or if it's... Um, another line that's come out, but I want to, oh, I like this one best, I think this will work the best. I want to use them, so we're going to take our stencil and our Neo Color 2, which is right here. Here's my Neo Color 2s. Here's a stencil, and what I'm going to do are just going to let me find I should be teal in here. Light light. These are purple. What I'm gonna do with my Neo Color 2s is I'm just going to and then I'm gonna take this. One. This messes with the crayon a little bit because, you know, I'm actually putting it um, against the stencil, but that's okay. I don't mind. And then I'm just using a baby wipe just to activate the Neo Color and spread it around. That's neat. Bit more up here. Very cool. I like. I'm just going to wipe off our stencil, which is kind of strange because I never clean stencils. I don't know why I'm doing it now. It's all good. All right, so there's the stencil. So we did a stencil and Neo Color 2. Next, empty packaging. And let's grab another one. Handmade stamp. So, empty packaging and a handmade stamp. Now, for empty packaging, I, um, not too long ago in my year, uh, 2017 we did um, take trash and make it pretty and that's exactly what all this is is some type of an empty packaging so I'm going to use a piece of this hmm, what are we going to put in it Let's, I'm thinking. Sorry, I got quiet. I was thinking. Did you see the smoke coming? I was thinking. And what I want to do is take off this lip here so that it's flat. Kind of like it right there. All right, so we've got our empty packaging. Here's the empty packaging. And I brought out handmade stamp because what I'd like to do, this isn't quite dry yet, um, is I'd like to use some of my handmade stamps on the empty packaging. So let me, all right, I'm getting stuff messed up over here. Hold on, hold on. As my grandbaby says, hold on, grandma, hold on. All right, so I've got the empty packaging. And I've got some handmade stamps here. 
love this. This is one that Crystal, um, Crystal made for me, and it's it's a great, great little stamp. So let's grab some ink. I've got just plain archival black ink, and we're just going to take this eraser. Actually, I can pull this back. I don't need it up there. And let's see what we've got here. Take these little dots and put some dots in here. All right, so we've got our empty packaging and we've got our handmade stamp. All right, actually, where did I want to put it? I want to put it right here. Trying to decide how I want to do this. Actually, I might just do it just like that. And we're going to put it on. Our glue stick. Boy, I'm rough on glue sticks. I don't know why, but I am. I don't know why, I just, I think this needs to go over the reading. So that's where it's going. Okay, so we used empty packaging and we used handmade stamps. Let's see what's up next. And I hope I didn't put these out of order, but if I did, we're just going to do them the way I'm picking them up. So, um... Next, we've got finger paint and plaster tape. Come on, get down in there. Um, finger paint and plaster tape. So we're going to finger paint. That I didn't get out. I didn't get out any paints that I want to use. So let me um, grab those and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got finger paint and plaster tape. So this is, um, I found this in Tuesday morning. It's from Firefly and it's a, pardon me, semi-gloss acrylic paint. And I don't know why I had to have it. Of course, you guys know I have a paint problem. And it, of course, is stuck. Stuck. So we're going to clean out the tip, hopefully. All right, let me do this. I'm sorry, I'll be back. All right, well, there's more than one way to, to uh, take care of this. I just took the top off. So we're gonna finger paint. Now, I don't wanna do a whole lot of, ooh, this is really thick. Ah, I'm not sure I like it this thick. So where's my little water bottle? That's better. So we're just gonna kinda here and there. This is a very, very thick paint. It's possibly be could be because it's an older paint. I don't know. Maybe. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a thicker paint. I'd say it's because it's an older paint. Which, that's fine. I'm good with that. Doesn't matter. Paint is fun to play with no matter if it's old, new, or in between. So we're just going to... I'm just going to try to tie in a little bit of this purple. Why not? Okay. So a little bit through here, maybe. 
Give me a little bit. I'm going to it right on here. Just play. Why not? All right. So we did some finger painting. Yeah, like I said, this paint is really um, old. So I think that's why it's so thick. Is by the feels of things. I could be wrong. Maybe Firefly's paint is supposed to be thick. I don't know. So, all right, we did a little bit of painting with that. Now I need to put down some plaster tape. Now I have a white plaster tape that I'm going to use. Let me see if I have anything else right here. No, not that I want to use. I have a white plaster tape, and, and I mean, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, if you don't have plaster tape when you're doing this, um, just take a piece of masking tape or duct tape or scotch tape or whatever kind of tape you have. It doesn't really matter. Um, and again, if you don't have fluid acrylics, you know, use watered down paint. If you don't have handmade stamps, shame on you. No, I mean, <laughs> um, grab an eraser and carve one, you know, um, whatever, whatever you have, the supplies you have are the supplies you need to use. So don't go out and buy fluid acrylics just to do this project. That's no fun. Um, just have fun with it. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this. I'm liking the texture on here. I like it. And I'm going to put a little bit, actually, let's take a small piece right here. We're going to put a small piece on here. And again, this is just like a plaster slash drywall tape. Um, again, use what you have. Don't go out and buy something special just for a project. For the you know like this. All right, so there's my drywall tape. What's next? Oh, plaster tape. All right. Um. Next is splatter and geometric shapes. Let me think about this one for a second. All right, so we're gonna do some splattering here. I've got the teal. Um, uh, fluid acrylic out and I am just going to take one of these brushes and I hope yeah we're just going to do some dots so cool Let's put some on some of that purple. It's starting to hurt my finger. Throw a little bit of water in it so I give it a little bit more of a... Yeah, that's better. I like it. Let me grab some of the purple. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. I'm going to throw a touch of water in it. And we're going to play with that. It's cool. You can't really see it. Um, probably from where you're at, but it's making these really cool tiny dots. I'll show you in a second. It's just really cool. Put some on there. Take some of that. Like it. All right. I really don't want to mess up these bristles. Okay, let me show you. See the real tiny dots there? It made it really cool. Okay, so we did our splatter. And the last one is geometric shapes. And we are going to do that. But before we do that, because I'm going to do it with a white pen, um, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and dry up this page. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've got a white Molotov marker. And I'm just going to play around. 
and I'm just going to doodle some geometric shapes. We've got some triangles, we're going to do some loops, we're going to do whatever we decide to do. I have been finding, it's funny because I had a set of all of the um, small uniball signos that have, or I'm sorry, the small Posca pens that have like the size tip, maybe a little bit smaller. Oh, I have so much trouble trying to get those to write. So I found out with, um, you know, this type of doodle that I like to do, these work the best for me. in here. Just playing. That's that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doodling, having fun. Um, and just why not? The dot geometric shape it is for me. I love my dots. You guys know that. There is something very soothing about just sitting here doing dots. It's like a meditation for me. I've got a little bit of black there. This is a Uniball Signal black pen. What I'd like to do is just kind of bring these out a little bit. I'm not trying to be, um, you know, it's fancy, it's more of a sketchy, you know. Here we are, look at us, type of thing. And then I can't really do it to the reading. What if I get up in there? Yes, I can. It's kind of like, hey, we're here. Look at us. All right, so guess what? This month's pick 10 is done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and share, and subscribe. And I will put the prompts in the description box below. And you know what? I just knocked them all over. I knocked them over! So we'll have to figure that out again. Um, I'll have to go back and watch my own video. Um, but anyways, I will put the descriptions, uh, the uh, prompts in the description box below. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!